So I'm inspired to talk about reptilians because I have been doing a lot of research about them and what you're gonna know if, if you know anything about them is that they're interdimensional beings and they've uh, taken over a lot of the higher uh, society people and they uh, they love blood, they love gore, they love war, they love chaos, and, um, that's what you know. And they're the power behind the power. But what I'm going to tell you is something beyond that. What happens when you go beyond the knowledge of what they do to society or what kind of role they play? Um, in your life when you start to go beyond it you start to question the purpose that they serve in terms of the galaxy or in terms of humanity the growth of humanity because if all things are here for a reason then they're also here for a reason and if all are God if all are one then one does not have, we're all one, except for reptilians. We're not all one, except for murderers. We're not all one, except for child killers. Um, that's not, that's not what, what they mean by we're all one. We're all one because we are all one without exception. Without any exceptions to that, to that oneness. Um, we're all one. We're all here for a reason. <clears throat> we're here... They're here. We can't underestimate God. You know, God created all things for a purpose. And if God wanted something gone, it would be gone. But because of our own limitation and our own understanding about life, that we're not able to understand why things are the way they are. And if we were to... to um, if we were to compare them to a part of a, a music, for example, they would be, reptilians would be the drums of the music. If we were to say they're part of the chakra, they would be the first chakra. If we are called, we would call them a vibration, they would be the low vibration. If we were to see them on the schoolyard, they would be the bully of the schoolyard. If they were in Cesar Milan's show, they would be the crazy dog that's trying to bite somebody's head off. And, and what they represent in society is the misuse of power, the mis misuse of our own power. And why do I say that? There's been accounts of people who have been abducted or people who have experience with these reptilian claw-like beings. And there was a woman that I've read, she specifically said that she was not afraid of them. In fact, she felt that there was something very powerful, very strong, and very um, warrior-like about them. And that led me to a different understanding or a different aspect of what they really are. And the Hopi Indians call them their brothers. I think they said something to the fact of underground brothers or they're somehow brothers. And um, you start to see a different light, a different picture than what, you know, God bless David Icke because he's awesome, but than what David Icke is painting. And But of course he also says that love is everything. Everything else is an illusion. Love is the only truth. Everything else is an illusion. That's what David Icke said as well. And so if all is love is the only thing that's real, and you have to question of our own judgment towards these entities and these beings, do we judge our own misuse of power? Because they represent the power side of humanity. Did we misuse our power? Do we misuse our power as an individual being? And how are we contributing to this misuse of power? 
And what happens when this power that's not, not loved, or the reptilian side of us that's not loved, is it's like an orphan that goes outside of our body, or it goes outside of our control, and is no longer part of this, this individual system. It has, it became its own doing, and it had its own agenda. So it's kind of out of whack with the rest, it's no longer in balance with the rest of the system, is that it starts to cause chaos and um, destruction. Because overuse of power, um, power that's not controlled, is like a fire that's not controlled. It could just burn down the entire house. But it could also be used to warm you to, to be of, of service to this house. So, basically, the understanding is that reptilians are not our target, or interdimensional beings are not our target. And what really is a value is to start to look within and see where we are also misusing our power, which is, we can only, you know, the world it will only reflect what we have within us. And if you don't like this world, it's because you are also in some way contributing to this society. And how are you contributing your own misuse of power into society? And if um, if the ba the power becomes balanced again, there's no use in trying to get rid of power. I mean, there's nothing in power. There's nothing wrong with power itself. It's the misuse of power. It's the the imbalance of power that is the that is where we need to focus on but not power itself not reptilian itself but the fact that it is no longer in balance with the rest of society or the rest of nature or it's no longer in balance with the use of wisdom and that's what i wanted to share love you